Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome back to another Smite commentary. For today we'll take a look at Arachne, she had a little of a change to her as well. Her 3 has changed a, a little bit, I'll show you in a sec. But um, also I wanted to mention that I haven't played Arachne in a very long time. And that's actually a bummer because I like her a lot. And as you can see here in the new web, uh, you will shoot out the web. The web will stop on the first target hit or the first wall or whatever. Uh, it will leave a trail behind that increases your movement speed already. So you don't have to hit someone, walk towards them, then have the additional movement speed to continue. And as you can see it's actually a pretty nice, um, pretty nice web what it's turned into. I like the fact that they, that they put some spiders into it and they put spiders into it that are... Uh, conform the skin so that's uh, I like it a lot also with this uh, new three you can shoot it out you can immediately move very quickly towards your enemy and while your spiders are affected or afflicted on the enemy they will slow as well as also they will still leave the trail behind them so you'll have a much longer trail and a much easier time to catch up to them very easily Let's see, let's try to heal up. Oh crap. Well, that were my purification beads already. Um, it's better than dying, of course. Uh, I had to use it because if the, the Kronos hit me, and with that, he also, uh, well, the follow up of the Emir would have been there if I didn't beat it. Uh, maybe I should have waited for, for him because then his, um, then his priest would be on cooldown as well and we could re engage. But I felt like it was a bit too risky, especially with. A Susano and a Scotty, they just have a lot of damage. So I will be going for the same build I'll go for with Arachne almost every single time. And that is boots into the winged blade. Why do I like it so much? Just because of the fact that it provides you health, which is a very good stat. It provides you attack speed, which is very good stat for Arachne. Um, provides you movement speed, which is very important. And when you get slowed, you will have more movement speed. Well, they don't have an awful lot of slows on the enemy side. You have the Emir uh, 2 as well as the Emir... Um, what's it called? Ooh, nice. Actually got a an Skadi ultimate out of that. So I think that's actually worth it. Because my ult is... The, the only reason I will ever use my ult is to escape. And I did. So that's fine. Um, bit of a greedy to walk forward to that Emir so uh, aggressively. Well, I wasn't going for the Emir. But I walked... In the vicinity of Ymir, so yeah. Ooh, Kabrakin in a rough spot. Beautiful ultimate by the, uh, by the Cupid. Can't chase up to the Shang'a, unfortunately. Don't have the movement speed with that sprint activated on the enemy side. Sprint is a very good counter to Arachne because you just can't keep up with anyone. Unless, of course, they are just affected by your three. You will have 40% additional movement speed. And with your uh, Winged Blade completed, you will have an additional 10%. So you will actually be able to catch up with them. Which is interesting. Um, let's see what I was talking about again. Oh yeah, the, the, the slows they have. So, Emir has his ultimate slow and his two slow. And the enemy Skadi has a slow on the one. So there aren't an awful lot of slows. Only two out of five have a slow. Of course, the Shang'a or the uh, Kronos can pick up. A gem of isolation which I think is very unlikely to be honest because those are not really the best characters for it um, just because I feel like they don't have the easiest time and the best advantage with it and as you can see my three actually blocked by the Emir wall which is pretty interesting because that makes for interesting uh, gameplays you can block it with pillars from honor as well so you can avoid it more easily in my opinion because first you were able to just put the web behind someone and um, that way secure it on someone. The problem was that you had to cover the distance of your, uh, well, of your three range before you had additional movement speed. So uh, th there was no real advantage to it. The fact that you have a slow on your three. Um, but, well, you had kind of advantage. But now you can just walk quick. The entire time, which is extremely powerful. But the fact that it can be blocked by minions is definitely something you need to consider. Otherwise it will be very difficult. Nice freeze by the mirror, nice ultimate. 
three ultimate use, Yunga, Scotty, as well as the Emir, uh, all use on me, which is fine because the Yunga only hit me, so there was only the one second stun, and I had the diminishing uh, return, I think it's what it's called. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> nice follow up by the Silo. Uh, without her, I probably would not have been able to pick it up because um, I only have a couple of seconds of uh, stun. Which is not a lot. I think it's only one second at rank 1. So that's not an awful lot of duration for it. As well as the fact that my 1 was on cooldown. I did only had my basics to deal the damage. So that Scylla follow up came perfectly. Got her the first blood. Which is very powerful as well. A Scylla with first blood definitely very strong. I will be going for Ichival next. Uh, the main reason is it is very cheap attack speed, it provides you some penetration as well as reducing the enemy physical power which is very powerful against a Skadi as well as a Susano. Although Susano will probably be very very difficult to uh, catch up to because of course he has two escapes and once all of his abilities are on cooldown you will have additional movement speed because why not? Because it's passive. Ah oh, that's unfortunate. The dog caught one of my basic attacks, my two did not stun the Shang'a, otherwise she would have been in much more trouble and probably would have died. Um, bit unfortunate. Annoying dog. Um, Scotty dog can be very annoying. It's very good in blocking, especially against an Arachne, I feel like it can be very effective. Because Arachne relies on the three basics to hit consecutively um, while her two is activated. So, yeah. But I guess it's fine. So... It is a still pretty slow game. I don't feel very confident to engage. Uh, as you saw, I tried it in the early game a couple of times. Although I don't have any items just yet. That's a lot of damage. Can I go for the Scotty? Ah, Scotty Sanctuary used. She is stunned, but I don't want to risk it. The entire team is around and I'll just hop into my ultimate. I pop my mana potion to get it as quickly as possible because it didn't have any mana left. Maybe I should not have used it. I'm not entirely sure. I might have been safe, but I didn't want to risk it. Uh, sometimes better to be safe than sorry and my ultimate I like I said I don't use it to engage I don't use it for the damage the only real time I will use it is to disengage and especially with the changes to your three that's a very viable option because you will have the 40% additional movement speed by throwing out your web so I feel like it is a very good one to just keep your ultimate for the escape and that's also the reason why I'm not leveling it as you saw uh, as you have seen this entire game, I haven't used it offensively just yet. Uh, there are very rare instances where I might do it if I can really finish someone off or it's just a one-on-one -on -one and I can chase up to someone with it. But otherwise I feel like it's not worth it because it is your only escape. It provides you CC immunity which is very very powerful against the Kronos and I think you'll see it a couple of times in this game. If I get stunned by the Kronos, you will have some reaction time to it. So if you don't have purification, I can just pop my ultimate and it will not stun me. And I will be able to get out safely. So, I will be going for the Chin Sass next. I will have the additional attack speed on my Winged Blade. As well as Ichival, which is about 40% in total. In addition to... Ooh, that's a beautiful shang ultimate. Hitting me for th 3 seconds. I thought about going for the Puri. Didn't really feel like it was worth it. Let's see, can we at least get the Mir? Why is he so quick? Let's just use Weakening Curse to make sure that he can't get away. And let's go for the uh, Shang'a as well, maybe. No, never mind. I don't have enough damage. I don't have my abilities up. If I had my stun, I think I would have been able to get her. But uh, that's fine. Ooh, actually someone behind. Uh, let's see. We can get him, definitely. Nice stun. Nice Sanctuary as well. That's a bit unfortunate. That's a lot of people. Let's just get out. Was able to get my one out to, for the healing, so that's a good thing. But again, using the ult to get out of stick situation, I got surrounded because I wasn't aware of, well, any, everyone following me on the enemy side. Because I had, I turned around to go for the Kronos. And, well, they kind of, well, they all jumped on me. Which makes sense, it's probably what you should have done. But, of course, I have my ultimate up. Which, maybe they did or did not know, it doesn't matter. But I'm able to escape. And as you can see, the additional movement speed, I like it a lot, but... Um, like I said, if it can get blocked by anything, it makes things sometimes a little bit more difficult. Let's just grab this buff. Ooh, that's a bit unfortunate. Bracken Cup picked up. Um, wasn't there, was going for the buff. It, it just respawned, so I felt like getting it immediately. Because that way, um, well, you will have that advantage of having it. But I probably should have let him know. Because I think he was trying to engage or something. 
Um, so that's something I have as well because I don't look at the map as much in arena uh, that you will, for instance, go for a. Um... Ah, that's unfortunate. Damn it, Kronos! Damn it! But um, that you will go for uh, something if you're a initiator and you don't look at the map as much in arena that you will not notice that a couple went for buffs or just went back. So it's always good to let your team know, just in general, even if someone looks at the map, it's just better to let your team know what they're up to. Oh crap, that's a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage, I expected some damage, but not that much from the Scotty. She just did an insane amount of damage to me, and the fact that I got rooted really screwed me over a lot. Uh, something that's very powerful, I feel like it's probably one of the most powerful CCs in the game against an Arachne. If you have a couple of roots in your team, she really has a tough time to deal with it. Because the duration of the root also doesn't uh, decrease uh, the more times you get rooted. So it's a very powerful tool. Luckily enough, the only real root they have in this game is the ultimate of the Scotty. So she was able to use that one to, well, kind of keep me at bay. It is very effective. Probably something I should be a little bit more careful for. Or just in general wait for my ultimate to go back up because I feel like I think it had like five seconds so I wasn't able to use it to disengage so my core build is online in my opinion I have a lot of movement speed a lot of attack speed and Chin Chess will allow me to do a lot of damage um, there are some options I feel like I need some defense because they will hurt a lot the Susano the Scotty uh, every single one of their enemy team will do a lot of damage, even the tank, even the Mia will deal a good amount of damage. Let's see, can we prevent her? Ooh, it's a bit too slow. It is not the fastest projectile, but I guess that's fine, because you will get the movement speed immediately. Able to... Oh, that's unfortunate. Nice purification by the Susano. Just able to back out of the Chang'a ultimate, which is great. Um, I am quite low. I do want to... Ooh, off the mark with that passive of the Chang'a. Bit unfortunate. But um, I do want to get something against their CCs and their damage. I feel like the Mantle of Discord wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Because if I'm getting low on HP I'll be able to get out. And it provides me protections on both sides. So I think I might go for that. It also provides some cooldown reduction. Which is always great on Arachne. More ultimates to disengage. More threes, more twos, more ones. I feel like that's a very good option. Um... I usually build her attack speed. Uh, there are a lot of people that build her, for instance, with a Jotuns. I never liked it. I'm not sure why. I, I just feel like it is not the best. Um, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's not the best for her. In my opinion, the way I like to play her. I like to play her. I burst someone very quickly. And not so much. I use my abilities all the time. Every single time. As much as possible. Um, I more feel like I will... Stun someone, and if I get the stun, they die, guaranteed. And the more attack speed you have, the more chance you will have to get your stun out. Um, of course, you ha also have the Xiong'a too, which... Hmm, unfortunate freeze, able to miss everyone. Let's see, let's go for the Xiong'a. Xiong'a, not really an awful lot I can do against her. Nice trap. Nice Phantom. I think it's called Phantom. Not 100% sure. Let's do some damage to the Scotty. The Scotty is doing a lot of damage. Let's get out. I don't have enough damage or protection just yet to deal with the Scotty on my own. Especially if she is so high on HP. Um, but as you saw there, the enemy Shang'a walked through the Kabrakan wall. Which means she has the new relic. Um, I feel like it's not the most obvious to see someone uh, that has used it. But the fact that she walks through walls is kind of obvious to be honest. Uh, it is a very, very potent one against Kabrakan. I feel like Kabrakan isn't the best one to use it against. But I I think it's a good option because you can get out immediately and you don't have to walk around. You don't have to do the three basics. Let's see, can we do some damage? Ooh, a bit unfortunate. I missed one. A couple of basics actually. If I hit those, he would have been stunned. I probably would have been able to get away anyway because it's Susano, but... Maybe I would have killed him because I have a lot of damage now. Like I said, the additional attack speed, the penetration on the Ikaval, as well as just, well, the attack speed and the chins. <laughs> chins and attack speed. You don't need more than that. Um, there's also actually another option I can go for. I can also go for the Spirit Rope, which I feel like is also a very good option. Um, the main reason is they have a good amount of CCs. So they have the Root on the Skadi, they have the Stun on the Shang'a, they have the stun on the Emir, and they have the stun on the Kronos. 
So they have a lot of CCs which you can reduce with uh, crowd control reduction. And Spirit Rope provides 20% as does um, Winged Blade. So I will have a very good amount of CC duration reduction. It is a bit cheaper, I will get it online immediately, but once I get CC'd I will also have the 15% damage reduction, which is extremely powerful. Also, it has a little bit of cooldown reduction on it as well. I feel like in general it is a very good pickup. Um, I feel like it will be more effective, to be honest, than the Mantle of Discord for one particular, well, two particular reasons. One, it's a bit cheaper, so I can get it online immediately, and I can get my next item online sooner as well. But there's also the fact that this, the, especially the damage reduction, 15%, is just a lot. And getting a CC immunity at 30% HP, that's usually the time I will ult anyways. So I feel like it's not the best option to go for. In general. Well, not in general, but in this case. For instance, if they have um, a lot more longer CCs, and more sustained damage instead of burst, then I feel like Mental of this sort probably is a bit better because it provides you the CC immunity when you're low on HP, so they can't uh, lock you down as easily. But the fact that you have this, the damage reduction is just extremely powerful. And of course, like I mentioned, the crowd control reduction, which of course means I cannot be CC'd for a long time, which is very important, especially if you get hit by the Shang'a. As fifth target, at that point I will be um, released, so to speak, as I was a third. So this the stun will only last three seconds, which is interesting. Um, I will be going for a frostbound. So frostbound will provide a couple of things. It will provide the slow, which can be very helpful. Uh, they have two sprints. So once I'm on someone uh, with the frostbound, it will either force them to purify to get out. Use an ultimate to get out because they don't have an awful lot of escapes or just well Susano has but you know what I mean or let's see good amount of damage come on oh <laughs> nice the bleed just the last tick of the bleed finished him off looks like Scotty is behind not in time to save the enemy raw not the enemy raw all raw let's see let's slow her down a bit and finish her off just with a couple of basics use my one for additional damage. Let's see, can we save Cupid? Definitely need to try. Try to stun. Ooh, nice root by the enemy Scylla. A lot of damage on the mirror, as you can see. Nice pull by Susano. Nice wall. Come on. Let's get him. Odd freeze, but I don't mind. Nice. Let's see. Let's go for the... Never mind. There were too many. And as you can see, I didn't want to use my purification beads. I was quite low as well, so this provides me a very good disengage. But the enemy Kronos hit me with his 3. So that allowed me to have the... Well, if you react fast enough, you can just use your ultimate for the CC immunity before the stun comes out. Also, this patch is an interesting thing. Um, the removal of the power potions. And it bothers me. Because in Arena, when I have full build, I'll usually just go for a power potion. But I can, now I can't. I need to wait for 3k and you'll never get 3k power potions in arena because you won't get enough gold in time. Um, I think I've had it for one game where I was able to get the 3k pot and then at that point you're just fed out of your brains and they probably should have surrendered already a long time ago. But I guess it's fine. Um, there's one change I will do to my build. I will get rid of the Age of All. Uh, I feel like it's not as potent later in the game than earlier. They also have more protections on the enemy side. The enemy Shang'a has Urchin, Heart of the Urchin. Ymir has a lot of protections. And with my attack speed and my chins, I can shred them very quickly. With the Executioner, that will be a lot more easy. Um, I feel like it's a better late game potential than the Itch of Alt because it provides the power passively so you don't have to stack it up. Uh, you will get more pen out of it because everyone is a higher level and will have a higher base protections for physical. As you can see I already have 143 physical protection which I get no 113 my mistake um, but 40 comes from my spirit rope so that means that I have a um, 73 physical protection just as a base stat and if you have the executioner it will remove about 36% if I'm not mistaken 
which is about, give or take, um, a third, about 20-25 protection, which is more than the Ichival will provide. So in general, it, it will do more. Um, also, well, I do need to get three auto attacks out to do so. Let's see. Yes, force out the stun. That's something you can do a lot. If you have the web for an increased movement speed, you can just walk forward. Try to force something out by walking back immediately. And sometimes you'll, they'll use something. A Kraken engaging on the enemy Scotty. Let's just go for the Emir. Let's see how this Executioner is holding up. And as you can see, a lot of damage on the Ichival. 50 per hit. Sprint used by the Emir as well as the Mental of Discord proc. I didn't know he had that one. That's very unfortunate. Let's just go for the Scotty. I have a lot of damage. Let's go for the stun. Nice. Hard bomb by the Cupid is able to secure that one and well able to disengage the stun definitely helping out against the Scotty uh, Pinning her into place. She is not safe from that while she is in sanctuary. So that definitely helped out a bunch But nice reaction of course with the purification she immediately got rid of the slow Which made it a little bit more difficult for me to chase up to her because of course I have additional movement speed and She was slowed so that deficit is just a lot to get close to her but, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it is pretty close though. Engage on the Emir. I'll just engage on the enemies. Again, Kronos hitting me with the Soul Reaver 3 combo. I'll just be able to get out with my ultimate. My team is able to pick up the Emir, so I guess it was worth it. Emir engaged, and sometimes what you want to do is zone out the enemies. And I pretended to go for the Skadi. Throw out my 3. I make a very good target. But something they probably underestimate is how difficult it is for them to actually kill me. Because I have uh, about 600 additional HP with the Winger Blade as well as with the Frostbound. I have additional movement speed and immunity to slow with my Winger Blade. And I have additional protections and damage reduction with the thing, with the uh, Spirit Rope. Let's go for the Skadi. Skadi, a lot of damage. She didn't have any actives left because of the last engagement. And I'm, all, and I'm able to pick her up. For the last skill of this game, able to secure the victory for us. Uh, we were pretty good ahead, 17 to 0 we have won. Uh, it's not the world though, because after one minion wave it will be uh, 9 to, I don't know what we had, uh, 2 points. So it's either 2 minion waves or 2 kills for them, which is definitely uh, something that can happen. As you can see, a lot of damage on the Scylla, 36k, I had 21k, which is respectable because, of course, I do need to get close. And if you look at the opponent's side, there are actually not an awful lot you want to get close to. Emir has a freeze, Susano has just a lot of damage in general, uh, Skadi has the root, has the pet Scalder, as well as, as you can see, she also has Hastened Fatalis, which is very powerful. Uh, the Kronos has the stun and a good amount of damage. He had Soul Reaver as well as Polynomicon, which I like. He has Doom Orb as well, which I don't like as much. Um, it's not the worst on Kronos, but I feel like in Arena it just not, it's just not a best option. Because it's very difficult to stack it up. Especially if you get killed early. Um, Shang'a, good amount of cooldown reduction. Went for the Heart of the Urchin, which is interesting. But I guess it worked out fine for her. Uh, she's 0, 2 and 9. So she has the most assists, no real kills. Uh, but I felt like she had a couple of very good ultimates. Um... She also picked up Phantom. I haven't seen someone use Phantom just yet. Uh, I've had seen one person in my team use it. And that was against an Odin. Which is of course a very good option. Um, especially if you're a Skadi. Which makes sense. Um, but I feel like it was pretty effective against Kabrak. And that's also the only thing she used it for. She would just Phantom. Get out immediately. Not bothered by the tremors. Not a, a forced to walk around. Or kill a wall in three hits. Which is also a change they brought to Kabrak. Which is interesting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I feel like her 3 makes her reckoning a little bit more potent. But also a little bit more difficult as for... Um, if someone behind, hides, hides behind a minion wave or a wall or anything, you won't be able to hit it. So, I, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's very good. But also it has some getting used to uh, time. Well, you need to get used to it for a little bit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. There are still a couple of other gods I want to take a look at because of their changes. Um, I will see one when I'm able to do those. Uh, Aphrodite, Guan Yu, Hell. Uh, the new Najar passive. I'm really skeptic about it, but we'll have to see. Um, the Odin with his passive. Probably insane. 
Vulcan with his passive. Just an awful lot of uh, changes to gods, which I feel like make them more potent or change them in a way that they are interesting to take a look at. So they will be coming up, uh, not sure when, not sure how, but you can probably expect them to be on the channel. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.